Hi, I'm Holly Shinsky, Technical Evangelist with Adobe, here to talk to you today about Adobe Air Launchpad. Adobe Air Launchpad is a tool to help developers rapidly build Air applications for both desktop and mobile. It's actually an Air application itself, and the result of using the tool is a Flex project that can be directly imported into Flash Builder. So now let's see how it works. So when we go into Adobe Air Launchpad, we see that there are two options for creating Air applications, one for creating desktop and one for creating mobile applications. If we go into the desktop option, we can see various settings that we will set for our application, such as the application name, the width and height, a window title, and then options such as if we want it to allow resizing, minimizing, maximizing, including auto update code, specifying icons for the application so I can actually drag and drop icons into these boxes to be used in the final application. And then if I want it to be a transparent application or if it's going to be using System Chrome or not. Next in the configuration panel, we can generate code snippets for various things that we want to handle in our application, such as if we want to center it, handle activation or deactivation, if we want to detect network status changes, include a global error handler, etc. Or we can just select them all and generate all of the code snippets to be used in our final application. In the samples view, you can generate code samples for different things that you might want in your application, such as drag and drop, using Windows, invoking a native process, using sockets, or displaying a PDF. And you can select all, again, and generate code samples for each of these in case you want to use them in your final application. When you get to the Generate tab, there is an option to create an install badge where you can drag your install badge image into this box here, and it'll be used as your Air install badge. And then you're going to select the file location for your project to be generated. When you hit Generate, you can see that your application is generated in a file folder and also in a zip file and ready to be imported into Flash Builder. Before we go into Flash Builder, though, let's go back and go through the mobile Air application process. When you select the mobile Air application menu option, you'll see that there are three target platforms that are automatically selected for Android, BlackBerry, and iOS. We're going to include all of those in this demo. So we'll enter our application name, a version number, and then we can include tabs if we want it to be a tabbed application. In this case, I'm not. And then we can specify other options, such as if it's going to need internet access, run full screen, auto orient, um, exclude from the list of recently run applications. And you can see there are tool tips above each of the input fields to find out more information about what we're asking for in those fields. There's also an option for determining the aspect ratio that should be used when the application is first run and the rendering mode to use for your application. Again, we can choose our application icons, and because we're running on three different platforms, there are different sizes required for those different platforms, so we can just drag them in accordingly as needed. Once we drag in all of our necessary icons, we can save and close, and then if we have any iOS-specific settings, those can be set here. There's a couple that are set by default but can be changed, and any additional ones that can be set will be added to the application descriptor. In the configuration options for mobile, we have different code snippets that can be generated for screen orientation handling, disabling the auto lock or screen dimming. We can auto scale for certain DPI. We can uh, handle the exiting or activation and deactivation or supply a splash screen. If you select all of them and do not supply a splash screen, a default will be used. So I'm going to leave that for this case and then move on to the samples. And in the sample code for mobile, there are a lot of different things that we might want, might want to use, such as GPS, accessing the camera, the microphone, handling gestures, the accelerometer, using a local SQLite database, adding menus, and, and a bunch of other options. So I'm just going to select all of them so we can get all of the code options generated. And then in the Generate tab, we're going to specify where we want the project to be created, and then hit Generate. Once we hit Generate, there are some specific permissions for Android and BlackBerry that need to be set, and they've already been predetermined based on your selections. However, you can change them as needed here. And in the BlackBerry section, there's also some fields that need to be 
specified for your BlackBerry tablet XML file that's going to get created, such as the author name, which category, and if you want a splash screen, etc. Once we hit save, we can see that our application was generated, and we can go ahead and import it into Flash Builder. Now in Flash Builder, we can go to Import Flash Builder Project and go to the location where we generated our project, and we can select the zip file. And once it's imported, we can go in and see all of the generated code based on the options we just selected. So in the main MXML file, I can see all of the code snippets that I just selected already in here for me, and I can cut and paste and add as desired. I also have a set of views that were created based on the samples that I chose that I can use to cut and paste code back into my main application. This project is actually ready to run as is, so I could just go into the run or debug configurations, and if I click on the mobile application and then select a target platform, in this case I'm going to use iOS, on the desktop, I'm just going to use the emulator for the iPhone 4. And you can see it automatically runs with the selected options and samples that I indicated in Air Launchpad. So here I can see the different samples I specified. And everything is ready to go. And I can take from there and insert it into my main application as needed. So now you can see how Adobe Air Launchpad can dramatically increase your productivity by providing a quick start to building your Adobe Air applications. You can download Adobe Air Launchpad from Adobe Labs, and you can also visit my blog for more information about this product. Thanks for watching.